For IV administration, we use the Alaris pump. To turn it on, first thing you want to do is hit the system on button. While this is booting up, they use special tubing and this tubing can be found in the supply cabinet out by the nurse station. It comes in a little bag like this, you can open it up and use it. You may have a menu pop up when you first turn it on. It will say something, read it, just confirm it to get out of it. Pull the tubing out of the bag, get it ready. Typically all of this will be set up already for you when you come in to the scenario. If there's IV administration for the patient, the pump will already be running. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to put the uh, tubing on and uh, load it into the pump. If you wait too long, you can hear it's going to beep at you. So it's going to ask you a new patient, and you're going to say yes. All right. And it's asking you for channel and uh, there's only one channel on here right now and it's channel select channel select A but let's go ahead and load the tubing up first so we've got our uh, IV tubing going into the bag just want to bring it out um, there's a when you when you open up the new tubing package there's a cover in between the the unit that actually goes into the cartridge placement so you want to remove that cover to open up the, the chamber, just lift up on this device here, it pulls right open, and then you just kind of want to, it's a stretchy kind of tubing in between there, and that loads up right up top, and then your little blue piece here slides right on in. Then you can just close the chamber and lock it down. You should already have IV access uh, into the mannequin. Um, as I said before, it's already set up for the most part. Uh, most of your scenarios, this is going to be set up. But if you need to run an IV during a, a, a scenario, this would be the steps that you would take. So we're going to pretend that this is going into the mannequin, ready to go for solution delivery. So what you're going to do is you'll ch click channel select on this unit here and then it's going to ask you for a rate and you've got buttons on the left hand side of the Laris pump and you're going to select the arrow next to rate and for this one we're going to say um, let's just say 100 milliliters per hour and then uh, underneath VTBI is the volume of the bag which is in the bag in this case it's a thousand so we'll select that and select a thousand. Okay, and then you're pretty much ready to go. Ninety percent of the time, this is what you're going to uh, see: a you know, rate uh, showing on the on the side of the unit. And uh, when you walk in, it will be running like this. If there's a scenario where you need to change the rate, what you're going to do to change rate is you'll go into the channel select button and then it will show you the current rate and the current volume that's going into the unit, into the mannequin. You'll just select rate and then change it. So let's change it to 10. And then you'll hit start. And you're going to use these buttons here uh, to select those options that the menu gives you. If you need to add a secondary line, you can come back over, click channel select, and then you'll see a secondary line option here. So if you might want to go ahead and like this right now, I have a secondary line up here. Look that up, you can click secondary, and it's going to have a rate system for you as well uh, for that secondary system. And we can enter something small just to show you how it works, and then start on that and that's your secondary line. With this IV tubing you want to use needleless uh, options if you're going to be using if you're going to inject any kind of medicine uh, into the IV tubing. Don't use any needles uh, in this tubing. Uh, it will actually puncture um, uh, 
this piece here and it'll, it'll leak out. Um, but uh, you can set your, your secondary tubing up to slide it in there and twist and it's ready, ready to go. If you find that there's a scenario that you need to come in and something's running that you want to shut off immediately, just turn everything off. Uh, your best option is just to shut the whole pump down. And if you want to shut the pump down, just come on over here to channel off, which is going to be on this channel. It will not be on this panel. It will be on, on the channel. You know, it says channel off. Just hold your finger on it, push it, and it will say powering down. You want to hold it for five or so seconds. The pump is powered down, and you're ready to go change your fluids however you'd like. This is the Alaris pump. You'll be using a lot of it. Uh, please feel free to come in at any time. Uh, ask us for help. Get your hands on it. Learn how to use it. That way you won't be frustrated when you get into a scenario trying to figure out how to operate the pump. Okay?